Hey guys, welcome to a brand new blind Let's Play series, The Walking Dead. So this is the uh, definitive series which has all four seasons and the DLC as well. Uh, very excited to play this, so without further ado, let's get this started. Episode 1, A New Day, yes. Was that like New York or something? Or maybe it's Detroit again. <laughs> So this is that Lee Everett fella, isn't it? Looks like him. Oh, and he's in. Yeah, he's in a police car. So what has he been doing wrong? What's he done wrong? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Use the mouse wheels or number keys one to four to select a response. Um... Does it, uh, why'd you say that? Do you know what they say about reckoning? Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Um, silence is a valid option. Every time, not from me. And what do you, and what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Okay. Look at it. Use now in the target at the rear view mirror. Look at rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit. Oh, you did you? Macon boy and all. Uh, you're from Macon then, so you got an opinion. Uh, uh, what do you think? Let's let's say what do you think. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order big messy trial like that even if you was innocent a lot of what happened can't ever be undone I got a nephew up at UGA you teach there long going on my sixth year you meet your wife in Athens mm, you want to know how I see it um I don't have I got much choice was he not I got much choice? Sure don't. He picked up on that. So what about all these police cars, officer? You're not sort of worried about it? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh, could be I did. Fuck you. <laughs> Maybe just silence. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. There's a helicopter there. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are you not thinking about all these cop helicopters, and officer? Long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Uh, man. Uh, maybe he was innocent? So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It oh. goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got yeah. another good one for you. Okay. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit oh, there's more some, Hang on, there's something in the road. So. Uh, watch this out. Oh my god. That's very loud. That's very loud. I'm gonna have to change the volume on that. The sound effects. That was pretty much peaking. Right, this isn't. This isn't good. Is that a zombie up there? Um. We better get out of this car quickly. We better skedaddle. 
Mate like a tree and leaf. <laughs> oh, shit. Thirsty. He's thirsty. Ah, okay. Fuck. My leg. Oh, we cut it or broke it? Oh, there's the officer. He's the cop. Hey, hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Yeah, I, I, th I think he, th I think he might be dead. Shotgun. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Why did he? Or why didn't he? Who's must look around to find a way out of the car? Okay, can we? Look something around here. Okay, we got a boot here. Let me just change my uh, sound effects one sec, guys. That's all right. I just changed that. I just changed the uh, sound effects basically because it was quite loud when we crashed. Okay, so now move towards the window using the forward key. Uh, look at the door. Use the mouse wheel or number one to two to select an option. Okay, so let's look at it. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay, well, let's get out the window then. And I want to get to safety quite quick because. I expect there'd be a zombie around the corner. And in fact, where's that zombie we we hit? Oh, is that actually bust? I think he's actually broken his leg. Uh, use the forward key to move along the car. Yeah, I think he must have busted it. Must have actually broken his leg. Or his. Or his um, his shin. Right, so we need... I would say we need that shotgun. So let's go and grab... Let's go and grab the shotgun. The officer's shotgun is over there. Go and grab it, pick it up. We need that, definitely. Oh, God, that's horrible noise. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Right, so... Let's pick up this then. And I expect the cop probably has the keys, I expect. Oh god, that sound effect. The sound effect of the um like the ankle cracking. Officer? Yeah, I think he's dead Lee. Lee. There we go, he's got keys on him. Oh, bloody hell. Tripp and dropped him. Oh, don't say he's going to be a zombie now as well. <gasps> what was that about? That's a bit weird. I think he's going to turn... But he turns into a zombie. So far... Oh, for God's sake, really? Officer. Oh, for bloody hell. Piss Holy off. Shit. Use the S key. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're going backwards. What in the hell? Yeah, what the hell in the hell? Uh, pick up that gun. Get pick up the gun. Pick, pick, pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Up. And load that cartridge in there and blow his head off. Come on. Oh, for God's sake, Lee. What's the matter with you? Butterfingers or what? Pick the bloody thing up, will ya? Don't make me do this. Oh, I thought I missed. I actually thought I missed then. Can you miss? Can you die off the bat? Man. Oh, it's that Clementine. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, dear. Oh, for... They throw you right in, don't they? We've only been going for like 10 minutes. This guy is accident prone. See, I wonder how many, um, how, how much impact the choices have. Oh, the music gets really loud.
Wow. <clears throat> there we have it. Lots of zombies. It's really good, actually. I didn't know it was going to be actually 3D. It's almost, it does feel like the same engine they use for Borderlands, almost, doesn't it? Okay. We'll be safe, then, for now. That fence is acting as some sort of, um, like, wall or... Hello? Anybody? Yeah, keep before he's down, Lee. Pinar. I won't be shouting about. I won't be shouting about now. All right, look at sliding glass door. I wonder door. if anybody's home. Oh, that might be someone in there. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Okay, so we talk up there, but she's probably up there. Called the treehouse. Anybody up there? Help! Hello. Anybody well, she, in there? You would have thought we should be up there. Well, she ain't coming out. What's this? Tea set. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> yeah, I would as well. Right, I don't think I don't no think he's. Ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This I don't. The way it is. Yeah. Right, we can't do anything there. I suppose we could. Nah, let's just keep going. Somebody. Yell if you can hear me. Yeah, get your voice down. <laughs> um, let's knock on here. Let's look at this door. Go into the door. Knock on the sliding glass door. Yes. A few people say this game is one of their favourite games of all time. So yeah, it's alright so far. I think they said the chapter is like Hello. two hours a chapter. Anybody home? I need a little help. I don't know how many chapters are in a, se in a, in a season, so we'll just play it and see what happens. Um, right, open the glass sliding door. There's nothing else around here, is there? No. Let's just jump straight in then. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Shit. Yeah, we need. Hello. I think we need a splint or something. Not an that. intruder. Or one of them. God, imagine that did actually happen. These people may need more help than I do. Okay, so look at colouring book. So this is that Clementine's colouring book. Or oh, I'm assuming anyway. Can't do anything with that. Uh look at a bowl of fruit. He said he did say he was thirsty. It's fake. Damn. Who has fake fruit? Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Well, you need to get yourself a drink, Lee, I think. But I don't think there's any option to have a drink, to be fair. Oh, oh for God's sake. Slipped on the blood. Nice. Was that a phone or something I just heard? Let's open up these cabinets anyway and see what's um if we can get any supplies or anything. Oh, it's a walkie-talkie there. Just need the other one. Okay, and we got God, there's lots of things to look at. God, there's loads of cupboards to open. Mm, the Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Right, so Clementine's on her own then. Her parents are not here. Babysitter's probably dead. Right, you, I think you can tell when you've opened up a couple of already because it goes slightly grey. Does it or not? Maybe not, no. So it's, a, it's, an it's, a, it's, a, it's a phone, Lee, I expect. Is there anything in this cupboard? We need a drink. Okay, this might take some while. Take a while. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, I wonder if we can... Um, I wonder how much the choices are going to impact there the actual storyline. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Like, I wonder if you can kill people in here like you can in uh, Detroit Become Human. 
Or if, or when he, when, I wonder if choices are like bad choices. So you almost need to reload the chapter or something, or you just accept. I mean, to be fair, I want to accept my decision. Really, I don't want to start low reloading things up. I don't know what you think. Right, I think we looked at all the cupboards in here now. I think that's it. Let's go and find this um, this phone. Here we go. Maybe there's something on there. Should we go and find out? Probably the parents. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Subtitles aren't in line with the, uh, the audio. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Well. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Right, so she's in the... She is... I'm, I'm not a monster. Who is... Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Don't think they will be, dear. Is this to work all this mess? But, oh, hang on. What's your name? Where are your parents? How old are you? What's, what's your what's name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. So, how old are how you? How old are you? 13? Eight. Oh, eight. And you're all alone? She's young. Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh... 42? 37. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was just guessing, and I guess badly. Right, where are your where parents? Are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where's Sandra now? So, are you safe? Uh, the, where are you? You're where in the treehouse, you? aren't you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the Hello? window. So, oh, for uh, Pete's sake. Will you? Q, what? Oh, I've just got to keep doing Q. Oh, we're well, now E. Right, okay. Different mechanic. See, I might just use... Oh, God. I might just use a controller. I might be better with a controller, to be fair. Oh. Oh, come on. Hammer, hammer, yeah, whack her over the head. It's quite tense, this game, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite tense. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Like this frantic. Man. Hi there. I think he definitely needs a bourbon. Did you kill it? Um, I don't know. I think so. I don't know. 
I think so. Clementine will remember that. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, look for help before it gets dark. We'll get out of here once the sun goes down. Mmm. Ah, uh -uh. so is that like the first proper choice? So look for help before it gets dark. We'll go out of here once the sun goes down. Oh, man. Do they sleep at night? Um, let's get out of here once the sun goes down. This is probably straight away a bad choice, isn't it? Um... Uh, at least we can hide we in the shadows. Get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. We My chose to wait until dark. Home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. Have you got any bourbon It'll up there? A tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me and we'll move as fast as we can. <laughs> right, so let's have a look around. I was just laughing the way Lee was hobbling. Okay, so we've only got that way to go really, haven't we? There's nothing else over here. We go in this. I know we got the gate there, but I'll just see if we can look in here. I can't see any zombies either. Okay, let's um, open the gate. We got no weapons. So if we we should have got a weapon to be fair, I would have liked to have got a weapon. I just, just, I'm just looking around. Oh I my! The bastard. Are we going to die? Do they see us? Uh, they're after me, not you. Like oh my dad! So I God, that was quick. Clementine stay is really there. upset now. Georgia State Patrol. Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Cheaper heard that. Well, yeah. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Looks like Quentin Tarantino a little bit. This guy here, does Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Uh... A lot in the forest. Just a, just a girl inside. A lot in the forest. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. Um. Uh, her babysitter? A neighbor? Should we say neighbor? neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chet! It's who, Chet? Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Right, run him over. That was a lot of wheel spin. A bit inefficient, really. Wow. That was a that was a that was a frantic. It's been nearly half an hour, and it's been quite frantic already. So we got what fifty hours of this.
Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. See you later, Andre. You take care. I prefer to say if he was eat if he stayed with us. Thank but. God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, your boy is a lifesaver. Let's say that. Your boy is a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. Better pray to Clementine. I'm doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Is it broken? It, it hurts like hell. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Um, let's just say it's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. Herschel, Herschel knows Herschel your Green. name. That's Herschel, okay. Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Um, jumping a fence. Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger that. has the girl seen? Um, she's safe now. She's safe now. She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Good what dear. happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. I was just thinking about the actual series. Wasn't that Herschel in the actual series? Like Near the farm. Uh, shit. Oh, I'll better say manure. <laughs> manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Lovely. Is my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I wonder if they are alive or we find out if they if they uh, make made it or not. I love you, baby. <laughs> that, that his wife he's thinking about. Hey, get up. Who are you, mate? I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, I'm not. Uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of Kenny. a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Why? 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 Uh, Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? Okay, That's a enough. valuable <laughs> treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. 
Sure, we'll take along. Um, I'll ask the girl. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, so we can walk around now. Okay. So let's you talk to her. Hey there, girls. So be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. So uh, you two actually look like, look relaxed. Um, you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah, uh... You've learned that Clementine is a first grader. Okay. Uh, what, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What okay. is it that you do, Lee? Uh, I we used banks. to teach up at the University of okay. Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. That's back what's going to happen. Normal. It can't stay like this. You learned Katja is a vet, uh, veterinary vet, basically. Katja. We'll all be home soon. Um. So, how was the how city? Did you handle getting through the city. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just past people over some just just uh, it's okay it's fine you don't have to say anymore i want to go home tomorrow but even then i can't take away the things we the things doc went through don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this right so i'm gonna do this instead uh we had that before things happen for this a reason be providence you know not what we saw you just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay. So catch up. We'll remember that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a, I think I'm using a controller, to be honest, guys. Um, let's talk to Clementine. You having a nice time with Katja Clementine? Yeah. Okay, that's it then. Okay, let's keep walking then. So, do a bit. We can do a bit of a funky walk here. So, uh, is this Kenny? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Okay. We can just look at things as well. Seems like those two are getting along. He seems like an all right dude. Yeah, doesn't he? Okay, this is Ken Jr. Uh, let's look at Ken Jr. Do you want a little chat? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Okay. Hey, right, you need a hand, mate. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Two bytes? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna chop some wood. Use it before. Dad yeah. doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. Very, it's very. I um, saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid, a boy. Just shot him right in the face. 
Um, damn, you got uh, you got to do what you got to do. Do what you mm. can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger. Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Well, yes, we did. And sometimes this kid will be killed. I, I had to shoot one. I bashed a poor. Oh. Bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad Sean we're won't, this fence won't forget that. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, uh I'm not too close with my family. Okay, let's see. My brother see. and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. There's almost not enough time That's to choose. That's all I need cut for now. Thanks. But you haven't got time to choose or to read all of them before. Right, what are we doing here? So. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. There's a lot of choices, and, and, there's, and I, I wonder what sort of impact it does have on the story. I guess we'll soon find out. It's a very nice slow-paced game, actually, isn't it? It's sort of like... Oh, I can't do anything in here. We're not walking here. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, do you need any help, son? How's your son doing, and what's your plan? Let's see if he needs any help. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you oh, need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing and what's your plan? Let's say, how's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. Yes. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Okay, so what's your... You showed an interest in his family, okay? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the mm -hmm. odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. That's We've actually not a boat. bad idea. I'm a commercial fair. fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Okay, you learn about Kenny's boat. Okay, so look at the truck. It's actually a piece of shit, but hauls all right. Yeah, a boat would actually be a bloody good idea. Go off land, get some uh, provisions. Um, I don't think we can do much else now, can we? We've have we gone everywhere. Oh, who's that in there? Oh, it's her short. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. How did he know we were nice not being honest? Of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, my parents are in Macon. No wife anymore. Let's say that. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Did she die then? I think she's up in Virginia. Oh, she's, she's not. Sorry to hear it. 
But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked and she came. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. The time is too quick, I think. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure, what is it? Mind your business. Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the hell? Yes, what the hell was that? Go! I'll get my gun! Oh god, they're coming through. Oh shit! You chose to say duck. Oh my god. Okay, this is a bit tense. We're almost through! Get this tractor off of me! Right, let's just drive the tra let's drive the tractor back. Help me, please! Oh, it's too late for that! It's too late for that. Oh. God, imagine losing his son like that and seeing him die. Oh my god. This is very kind of real. I know it's like comic -y graphics, but you kind of look through that after a while and... Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Uh, I was worried about the little boy. I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Do we mess up then? Should we go on for get the... Get out and never come back. Could we have saved both of them? But we could have done. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Wow. So I said Herschel go we can see Herschel again? I wonder. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. I don't like I don't like this area. It's gonna be rife with zombies, I reckon. Look! Yeah, there's one. Hey there! Don't you shout friendly? do it. Of course he's Trucks not. run out of gas. Does he look friendly to you? Fuck! God's sake, Kenny. Who's she? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. 
I'd go out there again in a second. Uh, just go. Then just go! Okay, don't mean that. Talk to it nicely. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Uh, I don't give a fuck. She's an fuck. asshole. What she's not wrong. Warsaw. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Oh, was... Oh, shit. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. No, 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 Over no, my no. my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, what? Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's him hey, or Lily, Duck. I'll handle this. Let's reason with Dad. him. Kick his ass. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. You did the slow with Kenny. Oh, for God's sake. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! No, he's not bitten. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. It's his son. He's getting eaten alive. Dad. Sit down or else. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're going to whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm going to kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Um, hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing probably a somebody in the He's toilet. covered <laughs> in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, deal with it. We do what girl. you say. He's just a boy. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three, and that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is, and we're tossing him out now. Hit him, Kenny. Stop him. No, stop him. I'm sorry, Kenny. Let him. You're right. hit him, Knock Kenny. This guy out happily. Jesus! Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, for Pete's sake! This guy's always falling over. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh. 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 Why, 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 can't we, why couldn't we do it? I was whacking Q. I was whacking the crap out of my keys then. Very nice shot. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody yes. down. It's not good. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch. Hear a helicopter. Trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad. Uh, Your heart attack. Wow, he was a liability. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Really? Do we have to? We'll do it some through the office? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, 
Educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Yes, a good I'll idea. I'll and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okay, you're insane. You're insane. Uh, you know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. Walkie-talkie. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good Lily eye and on Larry. Them. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Hello, Doug. And I'm Who Carly. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him boss? those pills. Lily and Larry, Doug and... Oh, I don't know if it's gone already. Oh, what's this? So we're just looking now. Central examine newspaper. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Well, it's only been like a day, isn't it? Um, give food to Carly. Do you want some food, Carly? Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she, she might. might. Yeah. Suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. I think Lee was just trying it on when he... Like, examine the radio? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Sure. Um, I don't know anything. Okay. Uh, is the power? Can't be that simple, surely. <sighs> Nothing. We hit it. Is it a whack? Oh, it's a batteries. Right, so we need some batteries then. My sense of batteries. There are batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. Batteries and I pills. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries and pills. Okay. So we talk. We done. We talk to her normally. Good shot. Talk to her. Yeah. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three oh, days out reporter. from her last cup of coffee. Uh, you can handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. You don't want to see it, do you? Uh, that guy saved you? That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Um, how'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? How'd you, you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm looking for batteries for your radio. Well, she should know that, shouldn't she? I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. I better get back to it. Yep. Right, so let's talk to Doug. Let's watch this on, on the wall. Corkboard, Easter egg hunt, the it, it guy. All right, okay. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Um, not now. Uh, shall we? Not now. Uh, we'll not we'll right do now. All right. Let me know if you want to. We will do. In fact, they've probably got batteries there. But let's have a look around here first, then we'll go back. Um. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. 
Oh, very good. It's random. We don't know who these are, do we? Probably see them as zombies in a second. Ah, is this batteries here? Yes, we got batteries. Okay, so we can give the batteries now to Carly. Get the radio working. I don't remember them very well. Right. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Right, Ducky. How are you, fella? Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. So how how is Duck? How's he how's he getting how's on? Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Uh her family is, is like dead. No, we don't know that. She's good, She's I think. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. So, what's the plan? Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. So, what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Um, they owned this place. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. We could have, we could have saved him I then. I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. But that's, that's, I don't know, it's annoyed me a little bit that we could have actually saved saved him. I thought the zombies were going to go for the boy as well. I thought it was like a choice between save the sun or, or the... Right, take energy bar. Okay. And oh, that's the office door, right? So I don't want to go in the office door yet. Let's just carry on talking to um, Lily. Sort to How's Lily. You doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, we know that. We know that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Okay, so uh, what's wrong with him? Looks I know it's just a heart attack. Or... He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Um, he's got a temper. He sure has. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. Well, we got kids here, like like families. We've got kids here. You can't be swearing. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. 
She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Uh, so, uh, there's a lot of dialogue in here. Um, so you're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. So, was anyone here when you guys got to the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah. Let's get to it. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Uh, okay, well, so what do you think about all of this, then? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Right, so... <sighs> it says alive... oh, alive inside? Let's keep looking around here a second. Just get what we need. Before I go into the office to get the pills... Um, so I reckon we're going to get some things going on the there. The pills are in there. Yeah, so I want to go outside with, um... What's his face first? Was it Doug? No, wherever the guy by the door is. Is that an ATM machine? It's Money's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Right. Is there anything else we can pick up in here? Examine the food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Well, let's give her some food. Let's talk to her first, and then we'll give her one of those energy bars. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Glenn, yeah, that is the same guy from Walking Dead, isn't it? Glenn, Glenn was, are, is it, are these two, are the actual show and this very similar then? Are they, are they, is it, is it based on the show then? Uh, can I get you can anything? I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Uh, we should get to know each other. So, uh, should we? Um, are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I not, think so. Uh, being good is good, good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. You can see he's not very good around uh, kids. He doesn't know how to sort of uh, talk to her and stuff. It's not anyway. much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Okay, we took care of Clementine then. So, um, let's keep having a look around here. And then we'll go for that. Oh, okay, let's, let's put the batteries in here first. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Is that it? Can we talk to her now hey, about the radio? Tommy. I'm looking for your batteries for your radio. No, we're not. We're back to it. Yep. Can we put the batteries in ourselves? I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. Oh, we I found one battery, it. didn't we? We found one battery. All right, okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, let's talk to uh, How Doug. We doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, cause I need a battery. Let's have a look around. Okay. All right, and guys, I've um, had to cut it there. I did record the whole uh, episode. It ended up being like just over two hours long. So I've uh, cut it sort of in the middle, roughly. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, been better than I thought. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll see you on the next part. So until then, take care.